All right, we got to have another congratulations video. Congratulations, Chris and Tanya on your new business. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. So tell everybody if you're comfortable where you're from and then what the business you decided on is. Yeah, so we're in Covington, Louisiana, okay. and we decided to go with Game Day Men's Health. All right. Um, after looking at several different, you know, franchises through you that you put in front of us, that one just kind of spoke to us the most. Good, 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 good. Tell everybody a little bit too, Chris, I, and I know this is going to be more, you're going to be the kind of the face of the business, a little bit what you did before. You know, I think it's helpful. You weren't necessarily in pharma, right? You weren't in medical. And I think that'll make people just feel comfortable about looking at different things. Yeah, you know, I've been in the corporate world the last 20 years. I've only had two different two different jobs. One was with a security firm doing physical security, sales and general management. And then, you know, the last 10 years or so, I've been in construction recruiting, construction staffing, you know, running several locations for that company I worked for. Yeah. So didn't have and you know, don't have any medical experience. You know, wasn't sure what I wanted to get into. And when I saw this opportunity, it just, it, it seemed like it could work and it was going to be a great fit. Good. And Tanya, talk a little bit. I know in the beginning you were kind of like, I don't know, Lisa. <laughs> I'm not sure about this idea. <laughs> and so, right. yeah, um, yeah. He he started working with you guys, um, with you, um, and he kept going back to the same franchise, uh, the men's health. And I'm like, oh, okay, and just kind of sitting back and saying, okay, maybe it's a phase. Maybe he's just, you know, thinking <laughs> about it. And, and then he was like, you should listen to some of the calls. So I got on some of the calls and then realized that it's a very passionate uh, industry. The The brand is very important uh, to men. Uh, and, you know, he, he really, he wants it. He's all in. So I'm very excited for him and for us. Um, but, you know, I'm from the corporate world as well. And uh, this one's going to be his baby to, to handle and move forward. So thank you for all your help there. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you. And thanks for kind of coming in, you know, because sometimes spouses are hard, you know, either, either one. If you start with one, it's like, okay, it's, it's hard on Chris to try to explain and it's hard. So I appreciate you being open-minded and saying, all right, let's, let's take a closer look because without the support of that, it, you know, never would have happened. So, um, well, thank you. Absolutely. And we loved, I was, I usually like to talk a little bit about the timeline. I think realizing that we met each other like early summer, right. Or mid summer. That was end of May, maybe beginning of June. Right. And so, and right now when we're filming this, it's October. And so I think it's important. I just like to point out in these that mm -hmm. this isn't a sprint. This mm -hmm. isn't like a, here's your brand. <laughs> Off we go. Like there's education and there's a slow kind of, as you learn more, you're more open to things. Right. And so if you I think what I would say for, you know, anybody who is going to view your videos and, and potentially, you know, interested in working with you in the future is it can be intimidating when you first start looking at it or flirting with the idea of owning a franchise. But the more you get into it and working with somebody reputable like yourself, who's going to help you through that process, it, it was very comfortable. Um, even though it was still intimidating at times, it was it was easier to go along with the process and come to the realization, yeah, I can do this. You know, when you start talking to the financial guys that you refer or to the attorneys that you refer and you start listening to them, it's not as intimidating knowing knowing you've got that assistance and you don't have to go do it all yourself. Right, right. Thank you for saying that because that's it's hard. I tell people it's hard to put that in the brochure. It's hard to say, no you don't need a background in this industry and mm -hmm. and it, it's hard for people to understand that i think until you start to learn more and you're like okay i can do this right i mean right so thank you for say, for saying that and i think educated buyer is much different so you're definitely by the time you're writing that franchise fee check you're an educated buyer you it's not like you learned about that brand two weeks ago and yeah. signed me up, you know? So, so good for you. Congratulations yep. on taking the time and for talking to the different people along the way. Cause it can be a lot of like, I'm next to you, but okay, now you got to go talk to this guy. 
report back. And now you got to talk to this girl and report back. So thank right. you for kind of participating in all of that in order, you know, to have a successful outcome. So I appreciate it. Yeah, right, you're welcome. Let's, let's, uh, let's do this, right? Yep. Okay, one, two, three, congratulations. <laughs> okay, mine's not going. I got it done. There it comes. <laughs> Very good. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Sincerely from the bottom of my heart. Um, the only person besides you that wants you to be more successful is, is probably me. Right. Right. Thomas, I'm your biggest fan. So well, thank you so much for that. And I appreciate your help. Yeah, for the support and guidance. Absolutely. Thank you.